Jimmy, we obviously didn't have time before the Scottish Cup game to sit down and, and talk to you and welcome you to the club properly because the move happened so fast. So welcome to Hibernian FC. Um, obviously, it was a busy few days. What was that like for you, joining the club, finding out about the interest and then obviously starting a game 24 hours later? Yeah, look, it obviously all happened really quickly. Um, look, it's really very exciting and it was something as soon as... As soon as I heard of the interest, it was something I really wanted to do. Um, you know, as we sort of moved along, there was mention about the game at the weekend and, you know, it was something straight away. I was like, look, if we can get it done for that, brilliant. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was a mad sort of 48 hours getting over here, getting everything done, signed, and then sort of training once and, and straight into the team. But as I said, I'm really, really happy to be here. You know, the weekend, although the result wasn't what we wanted, um, was a really good taste of, of, of this club and, and how big it is and yeah it's something that I'm really looking forward to being part of. Yeah, what was your debut like? Obviously like you say it wasn't the result we wanted but the atmosphere inside Easter Road, the fans, that must have really whet your appetite for what you could achieve here. Yeah massively man, I absolutely loved it. Again apart from the result it's never like nice losing any game but especially a derby but in terms of just the atmosphere, the build up to the game um, and look, obviously, I know Hibs is a, is a massive club, but when you walk out and sort of you feel the stadium, you feel the atmosphere, you feel the passion, you really realise how big a club it is. And as I said, I just, you know, after that game, I just can't wait to get stuck in. I can't wait to have more moments like that and, you know, hopefully, hopefully positive ones and, and sort of achieve things here. Yeah, you, you obviously had one training session before. How many of the teammates' names did you know? Yeah, no, it was all right. The boys are really good, to be fair. They're really good. Sort of everyone helped me settle in, in quickly. And sometimes that's sort of the best way in terms of getting to know the boys. The best way of doing it is just sort of getting thrown in the deep end. And, and yeah, obviously you have an idea of the team and you know, I'd watch games before I came. So I knew sort of different players and, and what their characteristics were. But yeah, it was obviously a very sort of short turnaround and yeah. Yeah, and obviously Martin Boyle, someone you know from the Australia setup. Did you speak to him before before moving? Yeah, yeah, I spoke to Boyle. I spoke to Boyle. Um, we sort of swapped messages a, a few days out. I also spoke to Jacko, Jackson Irvine, who I know, and, and Millsy. So there's been quite a few Aussies that have, have come through here. So it was good to sort of just have that person to touch base with and just ask a few questions and stuff. What did they tell you about the club? No, positive, mate. I think, like I said, I, I mean, English and, and Scottish football already is massive in Australia, but especially with, uh, with all the players that are over here at the moment, you know, there's a real, yeah, there's real thirst for it. And, uh, and so, we, you know, I know a lot about the league. I know a lot about the different teams. And so I knew a lot there was to know about the club, but it's always nice just to sort of get a, a personal touch and, and, yeah, just ask a few little questions. And they're really positive and they're really positive and it'll help sort of the move happen. Yeah, and you've obviously now had a taste of Scottish football. Do you think that, that suits your game? Did you enjoy that style? Yeah, definitely. It's certainly different. Um, I think especially with it being a cup game and a derby, um, it's certainly different to what I'm used to and I've noticed little differences from, from where I've played previously, even in training. But I think it's something I really enjoy. I think I like sort of fast, intense games, you know, um, with a lot of passion and, and not hectic, but you know, where there's a lot going on and I, I think that'll suit me. And I think, you know, again, getting thrown into the deep end will just help me settle even quickly, even quicker into the league and into the style of football here. So yeah, I see it, see it as a massive positive for myself. Yeah, because obviously you've played um, in numerous different top flights and Australia obviously as well. Do you think it might take a little bit of time to, to adapt here or because you've played in so many leagues, do you think it might be quite a smooth process? Um, look, hopefully, hopefully it's really quick. I, I certainly didn't feel on the on the on the on the weekend that you know that oh this is something massively different and it's going to take a bit of time to it. of course I think when you move leagues there's always differences even when you move teams there's always differences in terms of style of play the players you got around you so there's always that little period where you have to get used to things um, but yeah look I just I'm just excited to get into the games and obviously you know there's another big one this weekend um, so yeah it's just about making sure every day at training that I'm. I'm settling in quicker and quicker and getting used to things and, and working hard so that we, we can sort of start moving in a really good direction. Yeah, and obviously for yourself, I mentioned Australia early on, played a number of games for them, 15 caps, and obviously helped them get into 
the World Cup. Is that something that you want to achieve is to get back in into that squad? Yeah, definitely. I think for any player, playing for your national team is sort of top of the pile in terms of things you can do. And it's, all, it's always one of those things that's, that's in, in the back of your mind. You know, obviously I was delighted when I was part of, of that setup and obviously disappointed to, to miss out to miss, miss out on the World Cup. Um, but yeah, coming here gives me a, a real good platform. Like I said, you know, Hibs is a massive club. Um, it gives me a really good platform to put my best foot forward and hopefully sort of force my way back in. Yeah, and just finally, what, what do you want to achieve here? Look, I think, I think for a club of this size, and, and that's one of the things that's so attractive about Scotland and, and being at this club is, you know, there is, there is so much to achieve. There's Europe, um, there's Cups, there's obviously, I mean, I know, Obviously, with the league, it's it's difficult with the old firm, but I think, I think you know, the chance to, to have some success here, whether it be lifting a trophy, and is is something that's really appealing and, and something to strive towards. And I think Europe, again, for a club this size to sort of first of all qualify for Europe and then potentially get ourselves in a position where we can have a bit of a run in Europe would be would be unbelievable. And that's something that you know, me personally, I'm going to be work, working towards, and, and the club as a whole. Jimmy, that's great. Welcome to Hibs. Cheers. Thank you very much.